Brought to you by StationHouseCoffee.com and Postmates. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Tiger King, murder, mayhem, madness. All that you could ask for in a documentary series. What a crazy ride this documentary series is. It's on Netflix. If you haven't heard about the Tiger King yet, I don't understand how you're living especially during a time of quarantine, a time of staying home, social distancing, binging as much as you possibly can on every single streaming service. Everybody is talking about it. Memes are flooding the internet on a daily basis with Tiger King. And it, like, no desire to see it. I heard maybe, like, a, a podcast or two talk about it i think maybe uh david david chen from the the uh slash film cast maybe mentioned it him and his wife had watched the first episode and it is like one crazy just to see that there is this kind of the subculture of like owning and breeding and showing exotic large cats right there's this whole kind of business this whole industry uh like homemade zoo kind of shit and there's this series focuses on a few of the big players or maybe all of the big players but in that there is like ozark level drama going on like throughout this whole thing like first off the characters are crazy okay not to mention just the whole like cult- the cultural aspect of what these people do for a living um and just their obsession with cats and the people that help them out are so obsessed and give up their lives to basically be slave labor uh to take care of these cats it's just like a crazy it's just the whole universe of like big cats is crazy to begin with like just the concept of it, the reality of it's crazy. But then once you like get into the get under the surface of it, it's like insane. You got this one lady who's, you know, her rich husband, you know, wanted to buy her cats like they wanted to. I think they started by rescuing cats and then they then they kind of got into the business of uh starting like a uh like a cat preserve or whatever. Um kind of thing and then it turned into a bigger thing a bigger thing and then the next thing you know her husband disappears uh no trace uh but widely like when they go into it clear it's it seems very clear that she probably killed him and now she has the money remarried to a super beta and uh like just it's insane but that she's not even the main character in this whole thing then there's another guy who's like this the super like almost he's like the cleanest guy you know he didn't have didn't seem like he had a lot of dirt on him uh up until the end maybe i think uh towards the end of this first off the ride you go on is crazy i didn't know where it was going like from episode to episode i wasn't entirely sure who this documentary is focusing on because all these people are just horrible people what they do even the lady that killed her husband that does it like she's trying to uh bring awareness quote unquote to what's the bad things that are a part of the big cat game but her herself do i mean it's like uh, you know she's trying to be this this uh this this soldier of like of peace and harmony but she's doing the exact same thing that everybody else is doing it's crazy then you have this gay guy you have uh joe exotic who is kind of the main guy of this whole thing the the through line of it and he's just he's just loves cats he like got in a bad accident and just you know bonded with cats and just this love turned into this whole thing where he uh you know does the he I think he used to do magic with the the cats and he does all these shows and takes pictures and all this kind of stuff. But like his life 
he ends up marrying two straight guys. Like, not just one. He didn't just marry one person. He married two people and didn't just marry two people, two dudes. But he, like, the, both of those guys come out as being straight as the show goes on. And it's like they were just gay for the stay, I guess, while their marriage. I, it was like, it's insane. Like, and then you have all the characters that are like part the 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 employees of these, uh, like homemade zoo th stuff. I forget what they call them. Independent zoos, privately owned zoos. Um, it's just insane. The end is crazy where it's like you couldn't write this stuff where he gets busted, but then is like turning state's evidence on everybody. It really felt like this. It, they were ramping up for a season two. Like if this if season two of Tiger King came out, it would be like the second half of Law and Order, where it's like the first part is all about the cops investigating the crime. And then the second part is all about the court proceedings and the drama when it comes to that. Right. So season two of Tiger King has got to be has got to be like PETA and the FBI going after all of these people, because it leaves it so open at the end of this, this season that like he it, it like ramps up to this point where he's in jail and he's like, OK, fuck it. They put me here like they framed me. They put me here. So now they're going to come in here with me and I'm going to give them all the shit. So I hope there's a season two. It really feels like there should be a season two. Uh, and they did a season two of Making a Murder for, I th wait, no, is it Making a Murder? Is that the, the, the one it was called? Um, but yeah, it's just like, if you haven't watched Tiger King, I can see how everybody talking about it can overhype something. Like there's no way it can live up. It's probably not that good. Whatever, whatever. You probably have all the same thoughts that I had before I hit play on it. It's like, I don't really care. It's like, you don't have to care. You're going to get sucked in to this, this story. Like, it is, as far as, like, a documentary series goes, it is probably one of the most insane stories that, like, just... If this was in a movie, it would be ridiculous. It would be so ridiculous that all of this stuff would happen within this fairly small community of big cat owners. And then, I mean, just how dirty it is. Because, like, nobody's... The only sympathetic people, aside from the cats, are a lot of the employees who really just love these cats and want to do the good thing... But then they're like all of their bosses and all of the people that kind of run the industry. It's just so dirty. And then not to mention during this whole thing, like there's some other camera crew doing like social media. Like it, it's it's such a like Joe Exotic, just himself, they could do an entire thing on like his music career. His music videos they cut into this are hilarious and, like, not that bad. It's kind of, it's so crazy. It's so, this, everything is crazy in this, in this documentary series. Everything. Um, and I like it. As far as, like, a documentary series, I'm kind of over, like, the, just the, you know, here's our system and how it's failing people. Like, this is just craziness. Tiger King. Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. True. That is a true title and subtitle. And uh, I'm glad I watched it. I, everybody should watch it. I'm looking forward to season two. I don't know if there's a season two. But there should be a season two. It makes so much sense. Uh, let's get out of here. Go support small business. Go get single batch, small origin, small origin, single batch premium coffee over at stationhousecoffee.com. Follow Station House Coffee on Instagram. Uh, Postmates, if you're looking to make some money in these tough times, uh, delivering food from restaurants seems to be one of the few jobs that's still available. And if you sign up through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash post, postmates, 
uh, you will get guaranteed. It's like six hundred dollar guaranteed for the first uh, seventy five deliveries or something like that. Uh, so go through my link, start working and making money delivering food to people who are quarantined, and uh, get a little bonus and uh, help support the podcast at the same time. New episodes of the Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork if you'd like over at inspireddisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RTS. Follow the show on Instagram, Ray Taylor Show. And uh, that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.